Welcome to eKids 2022. Lesson 5. Be diligent. The story of the talents. Saturday, 25th June at 2 p.m. Hi. Hello, hello, hello children. It's Uncle Yap and Auntie Chilling again. Today is our last lesson online, ya. Yeah? Remember what Uncle Yao Chong and Auntie Flora said in the last uh, video? Yes, we will have our next lesson on the 16th of July, physically back at church. Yes, we miss you all very much and want to see the real you after two and a half years. We will remind you at the end of the lesson, but let's focus on today's interesting lesson on the topic, be diligent. Let's invite everyone at home to join you in the singing, dancing, listening to the Bible story and your craft works. Before we start, let's ask Auntie Chiling to pray. 亲爱的天父我们赞美你是创造这世界全能真理也是赐给我们生命的主感谢你爱我们给我们力量过每天的生活现在求你帮助我们专心来上课也学习明白你给我们每个人不同的才华能力而且帮助我们好好应用你所
Okay, so the next song that we're gonna sing is He is the Light. So I'm gonna teach you some easy movement. So, oh, 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 oh. and then Jesus is the one who lights our way. Oh, 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 oh. He gives us hope for each new day. And then, oh, 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 oh. when the world feels dark and lonely, His love illuminates. He's the one that I trust and I will follow Him. He is the light that breaks through the darkness. Follow His lead and light it up, light it up. Jesus will guide us through every through every dark time. Follow His lead and light it up, light up the world. Okay, then repeat again. So when we go to the bridge, I'm gonna follow Jesus wherever He will lead me. I'm gonna follow Jesus all the way. I'm gonna follow Jesus wherever He leads me. I'm gonna follow Jesus all the way. Then repeat back to the chorus again. So let's dance and sing together.
Hello, boys and girls. It's uh, Uncle Terence here again to tell you a story. So today we're looking into the topic, be diligent. Be diligent. Diligent means hardworking, okay? Uh, it's the opposite of lazy, okay? If you're diligent, you are nu li, uh, So you have to be diligent. All right, so today's story will be about being diligent. Now, uh, before we go into the story, okay, we go to word association, meaning that we will learn English from what we see. All right, so let me ask the question again. What do you see? What do you see? All right, you see, I think you see a man. That's a man, huh? not a girl. Okay, even though he's wearing purple clothes, he is a man. Okay, because men can wear pink, can wear purple, can wear blue, can wear red, can wear green. He is a man because it's not clear over here because he's wearing it. Uh, we have boys, they're wearing the red. Yeah, they're wearing a red robe. Robe. Okay, then you have the, another boy wearing a yellow, you have another boy wearing blue. And we see that there are bags, okay? The two boys wearing red and yellow, they are carrying, holding bags in their hands. So if we want to create a sentence, we want to create a sentence of what we see, okay, you guys can do it now, okay? You can make sentences from what you see, all right? So you can see that a man is hugging Hugging two boys. Okay, a man is hugging two boys. You also see that the two boys are holding bags. Okay, the two boys are holding bags. They are holding bags in their hand. So then you also see that there is this young boy who has no bag and is looking at them. At them. Okay, so you have this thing. And we can ask the question, okay, hmm... What is happening over here? What is going on? Okay, so there are many questions. Okay, I want you guys to think about what questions that you can ask by looking at this picture. Okay, I'll give you some time. Just think about what are the questions. Give me five questions, Laha. Huh? Give me five questions. Uh, very quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, just give me five questions. All right, so you can ask questions like, who is the man? All right, who is the man? Why is the man hugging them? Is there a reason? Are they his children? Are they his uh, favorite boys? What, what is uh, going on over here? Is he a teacher? Uh, is he the father? Okay, so these are all questions that we can ask by looking at the picture. Who is the other boy? Is he uh, somebody from, from the street? Is he a neighbor? I mean, why... Why is he standing there by himself? And also ask, what is in the bag? Why is it that the other boy is not holding it? So, all right, so this is just a picture. And I want to, to encourage you that, again, practice English. You see things, okay? You see things, you see pictures. They can create sentences, okay? You can describe things. Very important. You describe things. And then I want you to exercise your mind. So you are curious. You ask questions. Okay? You can ask many, many questions. Why is the boy's hair curly? Why are they different color? Okay, why are they wearing different shirts? Okay, you can ask so many types of questions. Some questions maybe we don't have an answer to, but then you should always think about questions to ask. Okay. So let's go to the story. And hopefully we can answer some of your questions. Today's story is titled The Parable of the Talents. Okay, the Parable of the Talents. Uh, in the Bible, in the Bible, the, the talents over here is not referring to your gift. Oh? There are, so there are two meanings to talents. One meaning is talents is uh, your gifting. You have a talent for singing. You have a talent for dancing. You have a talent for drawing. You have a talent for speaking. So those things are one meaning of talents. The other meaning is talking about gold coins. <laughs> so if I give you a talent of gold, it's talking about, okay, you have a gold coin. So that is the meaning of 
the parable, no, sorry, that's the meaning of talents, okay? So we are looking at good worker, okay, the good worker. So you see over here that you have a man. Now you see the man, you got moustache, like, like Uncle Terrence, okay, you got moustache over here. So you have a man and uh, you have, who are these three people? And then we see what is the story. This is a story that Jesus told. Okay? This is a story that Jesus told. And he's trying to explain people uh, what is the kingdom of heaven, kingdom of God. So the kingdom of heaven is like a man who was going to another place for a visit. Before he left, he talked with his servants. Oh, so they are not his children. They are not his sons. They are his servants. The man told them to take care of his things while he was gone. He decided how much each servant would be able to care for. He gave one servant five, five bags of money. He gave another one two bags of money. Then he gave a third one, one bag of money. Then the man left. Okay. Now, children, is this something that you do at home? I mean, does your parents go out and tell you to take care of things? Tell you things like maybe if a younger boy, younger girl, say, make sure, make sure that all the toys are kept. Make sure that things are in order. Don't make a mess. Huh? Does your parents tell you that before they leave the house? Okay, and are you a person, are you a, a, a son, are you a daughter that is diligent? Do you listen to what your parents say and then you do them properly? Okay, don't ching chai ching chai do. Okay, don't do like that. Do things properly. Be a good son, be a good daughter. Um, are they good servants huh? in this story? Are they diligent? Are they uh, doing things properly. Let's let's have a look. Are they diligent in their work? All right. So again, remember, you have one servant got five, another servant got two, another servant got one. And what did they do with it? So you see over here that five, eh? You count, is that five? I think you know the count, right? I think your big boys, big girls ready, right? Don't tell me you don't know the count. So you can see over here very quickly, you can see five and five. So you have 10, all right? So you have 10. So these 10 coins, well, how do you become 10? The servant who got five bags went quickly to invest the money. The five bags of money earned five more. It was the same with the servant who had two bags of money. He invested the money and earned two more. So he go and work, okay? He take the money, he go and work with it, and then he go and earn money, all right? So that's something that the, that the master would be very happy with because they go and what was given, they work with it, and then they produce more. They give more. So that's very good. But the third one, okay, the third one, what did he do? But the servant who got one bag of money, he went out and dug a hole in the ground. Then he hid his master's money in the hole. Okay, why did he do that? That's a very strange thing to do. The first servant go and make more. The second servant go and make more. And the third servant go and hide the money in the hole. Hmm... What is he doing? Then what happened was, after a long time, the master came home. He asked the servants what they did with his money. The servant who got five bags of money brought five more bags to the master. Ah, master, you trusted me to take care for five bags of money. So I use your five bags to earn five more. Wow. And what did the master say? The master said, you did well. You are a good servant who can be trusted. You did well with small things. So I will let you care for much greater things. Come and share my happiness with me. Then the servant who got two bags of money came to the master. Master, you gave me two bags of money to care for. So I use your two bags to earn two more. And then you did well. You are a good servant who can be trusted. You did well with small things. So I will let you care for big things, for much greater things. Come, come and share my happiness with me. So this is what the master was so happy, you see, because I give you and then I come back. Wow, you did well with what I have given you. Okay, so that is the picture. That's the meaning of the picture. The master, okay, was happy and he was hugging his servant. You share my joy. You share my joy because 
uh, you have done well with what I have given you. You have done well with what I've asked you to take care of. How about the third servant? Then the master who got one, then the servant who got one bag of money came to the master. Master, I knew that you were a hard man. You harvest things you did not plant. You gather crops where you did not sow any seed. So I was afraid. I went and hid your money in the ground. Here is the bag of money you gave me. Now see what's happening over here. This is a servant who got what the master gave. He did not do as well as the other two servants. And what did he say? He gave excuses. He accused the master saying that, well, I don't need to be hardworking because you also are not hardworking. <laughs> you also take what doesn't belong to you. You are lazy also. That's why I say you harvest things you did not plant. You gather crops where you did not sow any seed. So you did not do anything. So I also didn't do anything. <laughs> do you see this or not? Instead of coming to the master and saying, sorry, master, I did not do what the other two did. I actually did not do very well. Forgive me, master. He said that you, master, are also the same. So that is the third servant. And what did the master do? If you were the master, ah, if you were the master, what would you do to the servant who said such a thing? What would you say? Okay, if you read stories, then you have to think, you know, and think about what will happen next. Huh? What will you say? What will the master say? You are a bad and lazy servant. You say you knew that I harvest things I did not plant and that I gather crops where I did not sow any seed. So you should have put my money in the bank. Then when I come home, you, I will get my money back with interest. So you accuse me. You say that I am lazy when you are the one that is lazy because I gave you a, a thing to take care of. And even if you don't want to do any work like the other two guys did, you should put my money in the bank. Isn't it? So the word over here is you are a bad and lazy servant. So what happens next? So the, you see over here this picture, what's happening? Huh? What's happening over here? Remember the young servant, the third servant, he dig and put the money into, a, into the ground. He didn't put it in the bank, he put it into the ground. And then what happened was, the master told his other servants, take the bag of money from that servant and give it to the servant who has 10 bags of money. Everyone who uses what he has will get more. He will have much more than he needs. But the one who does not use what he has will have everything taken away from him. Then the master said, throw that useless servant outside into the darkness. There people will cry and grind their teeth with pain. Meaning that if you're not going to be a good servant, the master doesn't need to have you in the home, in the house, because you are a bad and lazy servant. Okay? So that's the end of the story. Now, now I want to ask the question, why did Jesus tell this story? He said that this is what the kingdom of heaven is like. So, hmm. If the kingdom of heaven is like this, does God, that's a simple question now, boys and girls. Does God want lazy servants or does he want hardworking, diligent servants? And the answer is clear. God wants servants who are diligent. Okay? He doesn't want servants who are lazy. We are supposed to be hardworking. And sometimes we 
Ah, boys and girls, uh, huh? in school, at home, you will say things like, ayah, I don't need to do this. Ayah, the teacher don't teach properly. Ayah, my friend also don't do homework. Ayah, uh, Chichie also don't clean the, the table. Ayah, Koko also. So you look, <laughs> you point here, point there, point here, point there, telling that you telling everybody why other people don't do the work. Why? Because you don't want to do the work. Correct or not? Correct or not? <laughs> Is that correct thing to do? No, you should not. You should not look left and right and say all these things. You should not say your papa, your mama, your akong, your ama. You will complain about everything. No, you have to do what is right. Okay, do what is right. So you got homework to do, you do it well. You got things to do at home, you do it well. Okay, God has given you hands and feet strength, body that can move. So whatever God has given you, use it for His glory. You, need, you know what that means now? It means that when you do this work and then people say, wow, you can do so much. And then you say what? Because God gives me strength. Huh? God gives me strength. Okay. Another one is, if you like, is the joy of the Lord is my strength. Okay. I repeat, the joy of the Lord is my strength. You can use that as well. Huh? When God is happy, the servant is, the master is happy. What did the master say? Now join me in my happiness. Ah, now join me in my happiness. So when we do the things that is right, then we join in God's happiness. God is delighted in us. All right. So that's the important thing. Another thing, last thing I want to say is that we may not know when we will meet God. All of us will meet God. You know that or not? Huh? All of us will meet God. Whether we are Christian or not a Christian, we will meet God. Now, if you are a Christian and you meet God, that's something that excites you. If you're not a Christian, to meet God is something that scares you. And many people today say that there is no God, there is no Jesus, there is no all these things. These things are all make-believe. Okay? I'm telling you that all these things are real. God has told us that it is real. Jesus has came and has told us, has taught us these stories. And one thing I want you to know is that Jesus will return. The story over here is a story where the master returns. And so for every Christian we have to ask ourselves, are we ready or not when the master, when our Lord Jesus returns? So that's why we work hard. That's why Uncle Terrence work hard, Uncle Yap, uh, Auntie Chilling. Uh, then you also have Uncle Yao Chong and uh, Auntie Flora. You have all these people working very hard. Okay, people in the worship team, uh, uh, Nancy Chetie, so many. <laughs> you got so many uh, Uncle, Auntie, Coco uh, Chetie, all working hard uh, to, uh, to tell you about Jesus, to tell you about God. All right? So that when we see God, we will say that, look at this young one. This young one, huh? this titi, this meme, is for you, O oh God. We have, we have taught them of your love. We have cared for them. And now we bring them to you. Okay? Understand? All right? Don't understand too much? Never mind. Just remember, don't be lazy. <laughs> All right. Let's go into memory verse. Okay? Memory verse. Therefore, you also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. What does this mean? I just told you. We don't know when Jesus will come back. The Master will come back. When the Master comes back, we have to go and answer. Okay? God has given us our gifts. So we need to then present to God what have we done with what God has given us. Okay? So we must be ready. Therefore, you also must be ready. For the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Matthew 24, verse 44. Let's remember. Therefore, you also must be ready for the Son of Man. Son of Man is Jesus. Is coming at an hour you do not expect. Matthew 2, 4, 4, 4. Therefore, you also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you 
do not expect. Matthew 24, verse 44. Last one. Therefore, you must also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour that you do not expect. Okay? So, this is the memory verse. You can remember, you must be ready. Okay? Must be ready. And uh, when you are ready, then you have things to show and then you will remember. The key word here is that you will join in God's happiness. God's joy. All right? So, that's something we look forward to. Okay, then, so that's the end of the story. Uh, let me just pray, and then you can go off to your crafts, okay? So come, let us give thanks to God. Dear Father in heaven, thank you, O God, for this, uh, uh, for the children, for those who are listening. I pray, O God, that they will be diligent, that they will not be lazy. Help them to listen to their father, to their mother, uh, so that they will do their work. Help them to listen to their teachers, so that they will do their work. Help them to see that they will call themselves that I am not a lazy boy. I am not a lazy girl. I am a diligent boy. I am a diligent girl and help them to grow up, oh God, so that they will receive much reward, much uh, uh, praises from the people and most importantly from God. Let God be uh, the children's reward. Let the glory of God be their reward, okay? So thank you, oh God, for these uh, beautiful children, these precious children who are precious in your sight, in God's sight. God loves the little children. So thank you, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, take care. God bless. Bye-bye. I'm Titi Amanda. So children, just now we have learned from Uncle Terence about being diligent. Your father is a diligent man. He works very hard to provide for your family. So today we want to make something special to honor your father. Teacher Amanda is going to teach you how to make this craft. So now teacher is going to teach you how to make this craft. So we will make a shirt, okay? This shirt is a card for you to write a special message for your father, okay? So this card, you will put inside a vest. We will make this vest for you to put your card inside like this, okay? So children, you will need a few things for your craft. First, you will need a glue. A pair of scissors, some marker pens and magic pens for you to decorate your card later. Children, you should have received a plastic bag of all the uh, materials that you need. So you will see a large piece of paper uh, which have dotted lines. Okay, so this paper is for you to make your vest later on okay next you will see uh, one smaller piece of paper okay with uh, two lines over here this is uh, for you to make your shirt then this smaller piece of paper is uh, for you to make your ball tie okay and this piece of paper is for you to make the pocket of your vest Okay, uh, in the plastic bag, you see this piece of A4 paper, okay, with wordings. So these are the list of uh, message that you can write for your father, okay. And you can write Father's Day, Happy Father's Day, uh, following these patterns, okay. In the plastic bag, you see a small little button. Okay, this button is for you to stick onto your vest and you will see some small small uh, decorative paper for you to stick okay children we will start with making the vest first okay for so for this paper you will see some dotted lines okay we will fold the paper according to the dotted lines Yeah. 
pour this side first. After that, we will pour another side. So now it would look like this. Okay? Okay. Then take your glue. We will glue the paper, the folded part. See, just now we fold this part, right? We will glue, put some glue over here. Then we glue it together. Okay, this side also. Glue. Fold it. Make sure it stick. Okay, this side also the same. You glue, then you stick, you glue, another one, then you stick. So, it's like this. Glue each side. Okay? Now, do you see the dotted line over here? Okay, now we are going to fold this according to this dotted line. The teacher will teach you huh? like this. Okay. Then another side, four. Yeah, so this is your vest. Okay. Now take your glue and put a bit of glue here. Put a bit of glue here to stick on this side. Ah, see? Okay. So just now, you have a button, right? This is your button. You take your button, put some glue on it. And stick on your vest like this okay so now we have finished doing your vest okay there is one small piece of paper this is to make the pocket of your vest okay now you can cut you can cut like this about this size Okay, then we will stick on this side of the vest. You can use a glue. Okay, you glue like this. So this is your pocket. Okay. So let's put away your vest. We will now make the shirt okay so you take this piece of paper with the two lines over here okay we we will cut the lines over here okay don't cut the whole thing just cut according to the line up to the line only okay which I will show you how cut a bit follow the line Okay, like this. So you see, it will look like this. Okay, then after that, you have to fold the 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 collar. This is the collar for your t for your shirt. See? Ah, you fold you fold down. Okay, fold down here. Then it will become like the collar of your shirt. Okay. After that, we will make the bow, the bow tie, and we stick it here. Okay. Okay. So, um, take the the smaller piece of paper. Okay. Which is uh, which is the bow tie. We will cut according to the lines. And okay. make sure you cut it nicely. Okay, children. Okay, take your time, cut 
cut nicely teacher will cut with you for the bow tie will make your your shirt look very smart very smart looking cut nicely after this teacher will teach you how to fold the ball ball tie Is it very hard? So, you see, teacher has cut out the shape of the bow tie. Okay, now, okay, okay, you would need your glue. Okay, take your glue and you glue the middle of your bow tie this side. Glue a bit, put a bit of glue, okay, and you fold the sides. Of your bow tie. Okay, put another a bit of glue again. Okay, press it down. You see? Oops. Then, see, there's a little tail here. We will fold up. Fold up to the back see is this a cute little bow tie okay when you fall to the back you put some glue at the back put some glue at the back then now it's time to stick onto your shirt and stick here Yeah, see now you have your shirt. Okay, children, easy, very good. Okay, okay, now you choose uh, your marker pen. Okay, choose whatever color you want. Then we will write Happy Father's Day. Okay, you can see on this A4 paper, you can choose, uh, you can choose to write. Uh, this pattern or this pattern or this one it's up to you whichever you like or you can create your own uh, your own idea okay and now teacher will write okay let's write together write nicely for your father When your father sees this, he will be very happy. Happy fathers. what teacher wrote happy father's day and now you can choose another color okay you can write you can choose which message you want to write for your father maybe teacher will write this daddy you are a diligent man okay what does diligent mean okay diligent mean hard working so you know your daddy, he works hard every day. Why? Why he works hard every day? Is so that he can provide you with food. Food on your table, uh, a roof over your head, um, a nice bed for you to sleep in. 
so that is why you have to appreciate your father you can write daddy i love you and lastly remember to write your name okay so your daddy know it's from you hmm. We want to decorate decorate my shirt okay, with all the stickers. Okay, you can decorate, put some glue, and you stick on your shirt. Make it flowery, more colorful. And now you put your shirt into the vest that you have made just now, like this. Yay! So children, did you enjoy your craft work today? Very good! Later you take some pictures and show teacher, alright? Okay? So remember, after you make this craft, remember to give it to your father. Okay? And tell him, Daddy, Happy Father's Day! I love you. Okay? And give him a big hug. That's all children. See you later. Bye. Hi, 小朋友们, 在今天EKIS课程故事中提到, 有一个熟人要出国, 把三个仆人找来, 按照个人的条件, 给他们不同多的钱, 要他们好好的去应用。同样的神把各式各样的才华能力给你神给你这些才华能力是要你以积极努力不懒惰的态度去应用这些才华能力帮助人荣耀神因为主耶稣再回来时我们都要向他交账让我们马上即刻的行动吧 July back at church bling 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 remember 16 july yeah okay let's close with a word of prayer father god we thank you for today's lesson on being diligent teach our children to be diligent in using all the talents that you have given them so that Lord they can glorify your name bless them bless all their family members and Lord on the 16th of July all of us want to go back to Piazza Baptist Church to continue Ikit's lessons there Lord we miss the children so much we want to see them again soon so again we thank you commit all of them to you in jesus name we pray amen 记得哦小朋友们七月十六日我们就回到教堂举行一起我们期待能够看到你们每一个人哦拜拜